Well, there had been a big change in our, uh, Bill Small had come over to NBC. He was a CBS guy. He was angry about how he had been forced out at, at CBS. And he brought a bunch of CBS people with him, including Roger Mudd and the, and the Kell brothers and others. And uh, I had really been promised by the NBC group that I would be the anchor of the NBC Nightly News. It turns out that Bill had offered the job to Roger and not had told anybody. And uh, he wanted me to stay. And I finally had to say to him, Bill, did you offer this job to Roger? And he said to me, no, I can't remember. I said, come on, did you or not? And he said, yes, I did. Roger called me to his court and said, I don't want to live in New York. I'd be willing to share this with you. I'll stay in Washington, you be in New York. And I was going to go to ABC. Uh, Rune Arledge had really, really uh, recruited me hard. I mean, and Rune was unbelievably persuasive. It wasn't automatically I was going to be the anchor of the ABC News, but it was clear that that's what he was talking about. And, and CBS made me a great offer. I mean, it was, I'd never been in a place like that before, but Rune was the one that I thought I would go to work for. I liked him. I liked what he was doing with television news. But I was a lifer at NBC, and I had all these colleagues who were looking at me with kind of long expressions because if I left, they were left in the hands of the new CBS crowd. I decided to stay. I, I was always grateful to Roger for giving me that opportunity. As a team, we didn't work particularly well. It was not well produced, and we didn't have it sorted out. And so the affiliates were pushing back hard. And uh, Ruben Frank had to make a decision, and he decided that I should be the correspondent. It was very, very hard for Roger, and that was understandable. Uh, I, I, I felt bad because I'm a big admirer of his skill set. Did it hurt your relationship, your friendship with Roger uh, that you were? No, I, I, I think it did. I, you know, uh, I don't. Th I think I've talked to him once since, and I wrote him a note when I left Nightly News, kind of at the apogee of my career, and I said it wouldn't have happened without you, Roger. Our kids were friends, and he's talked to my daughters, but I think he was deeply wounded by it. That's, he first he lost the job at CBS to Dan, and then he didn't get picked to be my successor. But Roger had a very personally defined idea of what an anchorman ought to be. And the world was changing. I mean, he had to be able to travel. You know, he had to jump on the airplane with the crews with the mobile stuff and go to the war zone and go to wherever it was. He liked staying where he was in Washington. And there probably, if there had been an hour nightly news, you could have used Roger as the great, great voice of journalism in Washington, uh, you know, a man who can't even be the inside thing. But we didn't have that. The world had changed. The world meant that you had to be what Dan became and what, uh, Dan, what Peter became, what I became. You know, we were guys fast on our feet who get on airplanes with the new mobile equipment and go to China and go to the Middle East and go to where all hell was breaking loose and do it from there. So um, it's too bad.